those songs. Terrific um, team effort from our guys tonight. Um, you know, got off to somewhat of a slow and lethargic start early in the game. Seemed like it was 9-9 forever. But, um, you know, came out in the second half, played great defense on Johnson. He had 17 points on us in the first half. So we addressed him, uh, changed up some things on him defensively, and uh, finally got our offense in gear. And the guys that are sitting on my left and right are a major part of the reason why we won tonight. Jimmy was aggressive from start to finish. Justin had his best game of the year, was really in control, scoring it, passing it. Jimmy was setting great screens. He, he hit the offensive glass, finished inside. All of his free throws looked good. Um, so uh, awfully proud of the men tonight. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions for a player to start with Alex. Jimmy, obviously you kind of had a hard time getting going early this, this season. So what, what worked for you inside to get the double double? Uh, I like credit all my teammates for finding me on the pick and rolls. Like Coach said, try to save great screens, and saving great screens will help get me open and my teammates finally like. Were you in the groove a little bit? Feel that? I felt a little bit. Go over to see someone right. For Justin, you really seemed to come out with a lot of energy at the start of the second half. Um, what did y'all say, or what did Coach say in the locker room, and, and how did y'all approach the second half differently than the first? Uh, with Coach Johnson, he big on with Coach Johnson, he big on bringing energy to the team. So second half, he brought a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, I had to play a big role. Red had to play a big role, and so Jimmy, as you know, bringing energy to the team and getting our guys up for the second half. Michael, on the left. Mr. Pro Coach's quote was, uh, he's like a microwave, he can heat up quick, talking about you, is that true? Well, you know, I put in a lot of work, so if it's falling, then it's falling, if not, it's not. Averton, <laughs> uh, he wanted to see you work from your shot, and uh, I think you made your first three or four, maybe three pointers tonight. Uh, were you just dealing it out there, were you just in a group? Well, I also want to uh, thank my teammates and coaches for incredible, you know, encouragement and trusting in me, and, you know, today was just my day. I was being aggressive. Mark. Just for both of you guys, how much did not having Shannon make you feel like you need to step up maybe a little bit more offensively? To what you're uh, you know, we all need to step up. Unfortunately, same little bit of us, but you know, we just did the boot it out for Shannon. Uh, that's a big thing about our team. We got a lot of guys that step up big time. Like in practice, we all compete really hard. Like you know, we go at each other every day, make each other better. So if one person go down, the next person step up. Go to the front row, Drew. Uh, Justin, I know you struggled with your shot in the first part of the season, but Coach Johnson would tell you to stay calm. And what have you? What has been your mentality, especially with uh, now days on being out for years? I know you're going to have to take on a heavier load. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a heavier load because you got a guy like Coach Johnson. You got great teammates, so Coach Johnson just tell me to continue to play my game and stay confident. So my role is to get my players open shots for my team and get a win. Any other questions for either of the players? Let's go to Alex. Last question. Here. For both of y'all, what that, that run of about 13 minutes, the first 10, and the second half, the last three of the first half, what was working there? What were y'all able to, to do to, to really just pull ahead of that? Oh, well, you know, it was a game plan we had. You know, Coach Johnson is great at game plan. He's a very smart coach, so we came out and executed the game plan, so that helped us get on the run. Right, game plan. Uh, all right, thanks. First off, do you know if Shannon will be back the next game? Potentially, but probably not. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll just take it day by day with Shannon. Obviously, um, Dejon's out for the season. Um, you know, we'll take it day by day and, and, and we'll see where it goes from there. The, the shot for, for Justin Coleman the way he was shooting all tonight. Yeah, you know, proud of Justin. Um, this is what we envisioned for him. Being able to score in a lot of different ways, on the ball, off the ball, getting some key assists for us. Uh, he had a lot of work to do defensively. Johnson was a tough guard. Uh, he's been tough for everybody. Uh, Gavin scores 38 points at North Carolina State. and You know, let's give Arthur Edwards some credit of 
you know, limiting his production. So, you know, we came in strategically trying to attack them in certain ways. Fortunately, it worked out for us. And mainly, uh, I'm glad we kind of got our offense in gear there in the second half. You know, we do you know, like paint drying in the first half. And we, the tempo was too slow. We called in too many plays. So that was a big part of the reason why we got some separation. Uh, first, just to... Uh, Shannon, uh, uh, game time decision, was that something that's been going on this week? Or, or when yeah. did you know you wouldn't have him? Yeah, we knew we weren't going to have him today. And um, just a little bit about Justin. He, he really seemed to, to, the longer he stayed on the floor, the better he got. Uh, yeah, and I think that's what happens sometimes. You know, when, when he was a little bit more in the backup role, Cecil, you know, he would have three four minute stretches there when he's out there on the floor but now you know those stretches are five to seven seven to ten minutes so even if you make a mistake uh, there there's nobody else right now you know you we he's our guy uh, we obviously use Renton a little bit at the backup point guard position but that's basically to give Justin you know give him a chance to drink a cup of uh, water and then get back in the game so and that's something that I have to evaluate as a coach uh, in terms of trying to be a little bit more patient with our guys in certain situations. Tell us the release of medical condition. Mm -hmm. Can you be a little bit more specific about why Shannon didn't play tonight? Yeah, I think I'm going to stay consistent with my statement and quote. Uh, we'll elaborate on it a little bit more, but today is just medical reasons. And, and trust me, because you guys know me, you, I think I've been really forthright and, you know, I've tried to do my best because I've sat in your seats before. Uh, trust me, you know, at the right time, we'll give you more information. I, I do want to ask about uh, Jimmy. I mean, you're watching him kind of deal with some struggles and get, you talked about getting the ball to him a little bit more. How much do you feel like that was part of how he kind of broke out this. Well, our associate head coach, Bob Simon, um, let's give Bob a lot of credit. He spent a lot of time with Jimmy today in a film session, one-on-one, -on -one, just reviewing some stuff. You know, I came in this morning, and Bob and I met, and I was just saying, you know, let's take a longer look at what Jimmy's doing. Let's take a look at our entry, post-entries. Let's look at what he's breaking the ball down, his footwork. And we spent some time watching it, and then Bob, spend some time in the video room reviewing situations with Jimmy. So uh, whatever went on in that video session, uh, let's give uh, Bob some credit for spending some time with Jimmy uh, this afternoon and, and give Jimmy some credit for carrying it over into the game. And Coach, talk about the progress this team's made since Dayton defensively. Also, the last two games, 40-plus rebounds. This team has been playing with a lot of toughness. And the second part of the question, he was a little bit slow in the first half, got some foul trouble. What was uh, the keeper red in the second half offensively? Well, I think let's, I'll answer your second question first. You know, Redden, because of foul trouble, was limited in the first half. And I brought him back in, I think if you remember, sometime around, you know, three minutes and 40-something seconds, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I got him out because I knew I was going <laughs> to need him to guard Johnson in the second half. But uh, we ran some plays for him. We posted him up. We, pick and roll them, uh, we swung it to him and he attacked the windows and the gaps and did a good job there. Uh, so we, we, we just moved him around a little bit more instead of, he was doing a little bit too much standing in the first half, the quality of shots weren't good in the first half rather, and uh, he improved his decision making in the second half. Uh, for us, you know, rebounding is a huge point of emphasis right now. You know, going into the uh, Clemson game, we were 300, I think we were right 336 in offensive rebound. And just after that game, we moved to 297. Okay, so uh, we got to bring more energy on the offensive glass. Over. Coach, you actually been pretty good on the glass on both ends tonight. In the second game in a row you've done that, and I know you talked about it at Clemson. What kind of things are you doing in practice to, that has improved your team's rebounding so dramatically in these last two games? 
I met, I met with the best coach on campus yesterday, and I promised him I wouldn't give away any secrets. <laughs> so, but we are working on it. You know, I, I think it's all about effort. We, you know, we, th there are certain techniques in terms of swim moves and a lot of different things that we work on. But part of it is, part of it is can you beat your man? I know a lot of times you hear that in football, right? You guys have heard that before, right? If it's a man-to-man, -man, mano against mano situation, who's going to bring more energy and effort to that possession? And so I think we, we have certain drills that we work on, but part of it is they're doing things that you can't necessarily coach. They have to want to win that battle against that man and get the rebound. Hopefully that answers your question. Yes. We have time for one or two more questions. Anything else? Thank you, guys. All right, roll tight. Thank you. Hey, who's the best coach on campus? <laughs> yeah, what does Seawell do? That's a trick question. That's gymnastics, right? <laughs> <laughs>